What's up, YouTubers? It's the Hood Guru. And we about to get into this. Nah. The reason for this video is to show you that the unk has nothing to do with the female vagina. And that's actually a misconception and miseducation. And that's the whole purpose of this video because all these so-called scholars are out here who are just simply regurgitating other people's material haven't actually sat down and digested uh, the material that they are read and actually asked for divine intervention to actually come and help them understand what they're actually reading to unlock that information in their DNA AKA also known as the Ashkin records. Now, since I brought up DNA, DNA directly ties into the unk, which ties into the brain, because based on your thoughts, your thoughts actually manipulate your DNA. Now, the unk, the acronym of the unk, which is A-N-K-H, actually deals with a set of four times two, which is four sets of, of gods, four pairs of gods, both male and female, making it a total of eight, which is called the Og, the Ogdod. Now, the explanation of this is when they come into explaining what the Ogdod is, they state that you have a man his consort Amanet or Am Amnet. The second pair is Nun and Nunnet, his consort. The third pair is He and his consort Hahet. And the fourth pair is Kut and his consort Koket. And it's basically. Uh, these four pairs represent uh, primordial mass and its opposite, heat and its opposite, infinity and its opposite, darkness and its opposite. So, with that being said, being that it represents the, the DNA, you can understand how primordial mass, DNA being a primordial mass, actually creating the physical body that you have currently as well as heat and its opposite being that your body actually generates heat and controls temperature. Infinity and its opposite. Your cells continue to produce infinite and limit as well. Darkness and its opposite. Your inside and its outside. Your brain is on your inside. It never sees the light of day, but you still interpret light through the signals which is sent through your eyes. Now, with that being said, we're going to go back to the picture which I had before. The unk which in medical terms, is also known as the Circle of Willis. The Circle of Willis has a total, has a total of 12 cranial arteries. Now, the unk is also considered to be the tuning fork also the night of life now if anything happens to your any of these 12 cranial um, arteries any clogs what that results in is in a heart attack or a stroke but let's go what these over what these cranial nerves actually do or represent and we'll use a simple ass book known as Complete Idiot's Guide to Understanding the Brain. 
So it lets you know that you can get this information pretty much fucking anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Shit been right under your nose. Fucking smart ass scholars and they fucking still ain't get it. You know what I'm saying? Talking this bullshit, talking to uncles of a vagina. Come on, man. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? But let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go over these 12 nerves. First is the op, the all faultuary, which handles smell. The second is the optic, which handles vision. The third is the oculomotor, which controls several muscles that move the eye and affect the size of the pupil. Fourth is the trilear, which controls the muscles that moves the eye. Five is the trigeminal, which carries messages of sensation from the face, nose, mouth, mediates the coronal reflex and motor fibers to the muscles of mastication, whatever that means. Six, abducens controls another muscle that moves the eye. Hmm, sun gazing, horse, wow, makes you think, right? Facial, uh, seven, facial, controls the muscles in the face, ear, fornax, and four other salivary glands and carries some sensation from the tongue. Hey, man, I'm from the hood, man. I'm, I'm just trying to get this shit fucking as clear cut as I can. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to read this shit, get this shit to you. I'm breaking this shit down for you. Complex shit made simple for you. So if I'm fucking up in a motherfucking... In a in a in a in a damn explaining this shit, uh, saying the fucking words, cause I'm explaining this shit perfectly. But if the words ain't coming clear, it is what it is. Fuck it, read it yourself. Eight, the vest, bu lo, chuler, auditory, deals with balance and hearing, deals with. Balance and hearing. Can't hear me. Can't feel me. Oh, okay. I'm just checking. Okay. Back to the script. Nine. Glossopharnel gel. Carries cessation from part of the tongue and controls some muscles involved in swallowing and the pharynx. Hmm. Ten, the vagus controls heartbeat, breathing muscles, and some and kidney functions. Did you get that? Okay, I'm just checking, making sure we're still on the same page. Excuse me, let me whip my whistle right quick. Because I know I'm dropping some high science on you right now. I just hope that you're getting it. Eleven. Accessory controls some neck muscles. Twelve. Hypoglossus controls tongue muscles. Tongue muscles. Hmm. Now, the funny thing about that is that originally, when it was explaining what the unk mean, they had you in the lower nature of the muck. A little, I, I get so emotional when talking about this. They had you talking about the vagina and had you all down there in the vagina. And it's funny that this part of the brain, the unk, has something to do with those tongue muscles that gives that <clears throat> sensation down there. That stimulation is directly connected with the mind, so with that being said, once again, the unk is related to the vagina, but it is not the vagina. It deals with the brain and the 12 arteries of the brain. Now, I'm also going to make another video, which is going to go into a little bit further detail and another aspect in how this and how the Egyptians was actually explaining the 
autonomy of the brain because dealing with certain aspects of other brain you can actually see that they were breaking down the science of, of the particular type of uh, DNA type of um, genotype of the God gene um, in regards to this aspect but once again remember that the unk deals with the brain it's also known as a knot of life and it's a tuning fork. So with the unk being a tuning fork, also means that you're supposed to be tuning in to some particular type of frequency. So, if you made it here and you've seen this video today, then that mean that I guess that you must be tuned in to the right frequency. And I'm also going to elaborate into that as well some other videos so I'm glad that you actually made it here